Hi Pisces, welcome to Advice to Think Twice and welcome to your monthly forecast. So wherever you have Pisces in your chart, your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus, your cusper, your cross watching, you got a lot going on Pisces, whatever it is, this could resonate for you. Just take the messages as they resonate. Don't force anything to fit and always watch all your placements to get all the messages that may pertain to you in these general readings. In Pisces, keep in mind that I will be closing personal readings after like mid-November. Okay, so if you're finding this video after the 15th of November, please email me and just double check if I'm still doing personal readings before you send payment because I will be closing them for a time. And if you didn't know, I have a second channel, Pisces Tarot and Advice, exclusively a Pisces channel. You got a monthly forecast over there. You got um, daily messages over there. Go check it out if you haven't already, okay? All right, Pisces, let's see what we got going on. For November 2024, Pisces, Six of Wands, okay, didn't quite come out. Pisces, in November 2024, what can Pisces placements expect in November 2024? And Pisces, remember, if you want me to keep doing these individual signs for the monthlies, please let me know, and you can do that by liking the video, sharing, commenting, subscribing if you haven't already and thank you to everyone who's already been doing that really appreciate it. it gives me the feedback that i need to keep these going we're trying a different spread here so let me know what you think about this i quite enjoy it to be honest with you and i find it quite it's been quite helpful and quite insightful all right at the bottom of the deck we have what you don't see coming and we'll see in a minute what you don't see coming and your oracle advice for pisces Oracle advice for Pisces for November. <laughs> That's tainted in my hand, so we'll take it. All right. Cool. So let's see what's going to have the biggest impact or influence on you in the month of November. Let me just get a sip of water. We have... The King of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles, All right? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, wherever they have that in their chart, there is a departure that is happening that's going to impact you the most this month. Whether this is someone leaving at work or a friend or someone in the community, I don't know, that you are close with, manager change, Um, this could also be where an earth sign ghosts you, drops a commitment to you. There could be a change to your security, a change to your finances. Okay. Let's keep going, Pisces. Let's see what we got. And the challenge. We have the devil and the two of cups. Okay, so we have Capricorn and the Two of Cups, Capricorn energy. So for some of you, just be mindful. Um, someone could be offering you something, but it's either sh uh, shady, shallow. It's not really going to lead to anything. Be careful who you trust. Uh, because for some of you, I don't know if this is someone new or someone you're dealing with currently or someone from the past that's trying to come back. And this is someone that's trying to come back and tell you about how they want the same things you do now or to make you some sort of proposition or offer. But in reality, either they just want your money or they just want your time or they just want passion. They don't intend to stick around. You shouldn't trust this per person. All right, let's keep going. And the advice, we have justice and the world. Yeah, look at it. And this is, the advice is to not allow a cycle to repeat itself. You already know, you've already learned, you already got the lesson. Your advice is to let something end, get closure from it, cut it out. 
to make a final decision on something that's just been going around in circles. There is also a message here of receiving a very tempting offer. The thing is, it's coming when you're not at your best or it's coming uh, in when you've just lost something. And it's very tempting, but the message is, what is it? If you want a deal bad enough, you'll make a bad deal. Okay, so um, this is telling you, again, the advice, justice in the world, okay? Take your time, think about it, get it checked out, get a second opinion, get someone to look at it, get someone else's input and advice on it if you're not feeling very clear-headed, right? Or if you're still emotional about a loss. Just make sure that you can trust it. Just make sure that it's real. Because it's very tempting. But there's something about it where just make sure it's right. All right, don't go for the first thing. Don't sign things blindly. Okay, it could be a perfectly good deal, a perfectly good opportunity, but it's asking you to just get it checked. Okay, because again, you're not in the best energy or mindset here. You're feeling low, whether that is because of health reasons or your... Um, Judgment is clouded by some sort of loss or just feeling hopeless or pessimistic. Okay. And the outcome. We have the five of cups in the chariot. So, again, for those of you where someone's trying to come back, they're going to leave again. They're going to leave again. It's clear. I mean, look at it. I'm not making it up. You see the cards. You have to be an expert to figure out what this means. If someone's trying to come back, they're still lying, they haven't changed, they want something from you, as soon as they get it, they leave again, okay? Um, and for some of you, this could be someone playing nice to get you to drop some charges. And whatever promise they make you, they never keep it. You drop the charges, that's it, they disappear. To withdraw a complaint, to withdraw a report. to make them feel better about themselves and then they leave okay now for those of you where this is about an opportunity that's coming in that's very tempting but it's coming on the heels of some loss or you're not in the best headspace or the best energy get it checked out get an expert opinion get someone to look at it and tell you what they think because it will be what gets you out of this negative mindset. It's, it's going to be something that makes up for a loss. It's going to be something that gives you that fresh start, that new beginning after a loss. Okay? All right. What you don't see coming, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So what you don't see coming is... This is an energy of assessment, review, some sort of choice. <clears throat> Sorry, I lose my voice. Some sort of choice of is it, I hear, is it too soon? It could be that you're getting an offer that was kind of taken from someone else, taken away from someone else. Meaning, if you both applied for the same thing, you're, you're getting it, they're not. That could create tension, disruption in that relationship or in that friendship. Um, and in that case, the advice is to have an open, honest conversation. And if it's a situation where they understand, because at the end of the day, it's not like you cheated. It's not like you, it was in your control. You both went for something. Whoever decided, decided you get it. It's the fair choice, right? You weren't intentionally trying to take it away from them. It's not about that, right? So if you're talking to someone who's rational, they'll understand that. And you can move forward, salvage the friendship, two of cups there, right? You're not going to be working together anymore, but you can salvage the friendship. Or leave on a happy note, on a good note, on a positive note. Um, 
It could be that you're getting this big opportunity when other people are experiencing hardship. You could be getting a bonus and no one else is getting a bonus. You could be getting promoted and no one else is getting promoted. Because in the challenge, it's like this is pretty good for you. But everyone else, not so much, right? So it's like everyone else is going through a hard time. Is it okay for me to embrace this? Is it okay for me to talk about what I'm, the blessings I'm getting? the recognition and rewards I'm getting or should I wait a little while let the dust settle and then tell them okay and your advice we have goose take time to rest and recuperate rather than continuing your striving so there's something happening here where something's put on hold put on pause seven of pentacles reviewed and assessed if that leads to a loss for you, there's an offer, an opportunity, an alternative. Go ahead and get it reviewed and you might be kind of reluctantly accepting it because it's like, I don't really have time to be upset about what happened over here because I got to keep it moving because this opportunity is not going to be on the table forever. So, okay, yeah, I'll assess it, review it, and I'll go for it but there's something that doesn't sit right with you with how everything happened. But with the Justice card and the World card here, this is something that's meant to happen and it's something that ultimately will be in your favor. You will see that when you look back, not as you're going through it though, okay? Um, or it's a case of, yeah, you somehow benefiting when everyone else is experiencing hardship or misfortune. And if it's a case of someone trying to come back, I'm seeing Earth sign heavily. Um, just be aware. There's no point in trying to work it out with this person. They haven't changed. You can't trust them. You shouldn't trust them. Trust your experience with them. Don't trust what they say. Trust what they've shown you, not what they're saying. Because as soon as they get what they want, and there is something they want, they'll disappear again. Okay? So Pisces, this is what I have for you. I hope it makes sense to you, and I hope that it helps. I'm looking forward to your thoughts and your feedback. Check out your exclusive Pisces channel for more messages, but also look at your other placements um, here on this channel. And like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't, and thank you if you have. Hope you have a wonderful month, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.